Mark Cuban was born on the 31st of July 1958 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, United States. His father was an orphosterra. While his mother never had a specific choice of career throughout her life, Mark grew up in a working-class Jewish family and he started developing an entrepreneurial spirit from the age of 12 when he sold garbage bags so he could realize enough money to buy a pair of expensive basketball shoes. Throughout his teenagehood, Mark was engaged in various types of petty businesses, from selling stamps and coins to becoming a paper boy. At the age of 24, he moved to Dallas, Texas after graduating from the Kelly School of Business with a Bachelor's of Science degree in management. He was informed by some of his friends that there were available job opportunities at the time. However, when he arrived, he met things differently. Mac couldn't get any good paying job to lay his hands on. He had to resort to doing different kind of odd jobs to survive. He was later employed as a bartender but lost the job almost immediately because he could not open a bottle of wine without a cock falling inside the bottle. After leaving the bartending job, Mac luckily got another employment offer to work in a fast food restaurant. However, he wasn't a very good cook. Mac couldn't know when the food was ready except he caught a piece and tested it. This made him so incompetent, impelling his boss to fire him. Shortly after losing the job, the young man was employed again by one of the largest PC software retailers in Dallas. Mac worked as a salesman and this time, he was bent on avoiding any flaw that would make him lose his job. Several months after working for the company, he was unfortunately fired due to an intolerable offense that he committed. At this point in time, Mac was fed up of working for an employer. He decided to overcome his failures by becoming his own boss. With the little money he had realized, Mac started his own company called Microsolutions. It was an establishment that sold software, configured networks and computers, and even offered training. After spending just five years in the world of entrepreneurship, Mac's company became a multi-million dollar business that grew up to $30 million in revenue. He later sold the company for a huge fortune and built another company, Broadcast.com which was worth over $5 billion at the time he sold it as well to Yahoo in 1999. Before the age of 45, Mark was already one of America's richest entrepreneurs and investors. It's technically impossible to live your entire life without being confronted by failures. Inevitably, everyone eventually fails at one thing or the other. However, What's important is your ability to understand the necessity of failure and how to overcome it. Winston Churchill said, Success consists of going from failure to failure without losing enthusiasm. The only way you can eventually succeed after a series of failures is by never losing interest or enthusiasm in the pursuit of your goal. Sometimes, people stop chasing their dreams after failing. This is because they are not enthusiastic about becoming successful. If they truly have enthusiasm, they will keep on trying until they are no longer able to fail anymore. Thomas Edison said, Many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. One of the most common reasons for failed careers, businesses, and academic journeys is the decision to give up when success is close by. You never can tell when you would finally succeed, so it's very advisable to continue chasing your dreams regardless of what happens. Truman Capote said, Failure is the condiment that gives success its flavor. Your success story can never be inspiring without failures in it. If you become a successful individual without facing roadblocks and objections, then there would be nothing to learn from you and nothing to make you feel that you deserve that success. This is one of the key reasons you shouldn't be discouraged by failures.